over 50 items to make in only a few hours. Ugh. Happy birthday, Fauna Rose. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the Fauna Rose YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Megan and I'm the owner of Fauna Rose and I make and sell scrunchies, macrame, home decor, loads of different accessories, a whole bunch of goodies like that. And in today's video, I'm going to be prepping for and then attending my monthly farmer's market, which I'm so excited to go to because I haven't been for the last two months. I've been a stall holder there for every single month since they started earlier this year, but I couldn't make the last two markets, so I cannot wait to go back. I really, really hope it's a good one because your girl needs some sales. <laughs> However, we've got a lot to do before this market this weekend. It's currently Friday, Friday the 13th, which is a bit daunting. And it's just gone at five past 11. I've been trying to catch up on vlogs and thank God I've just managed to get another one finished and I'm cracking on with market prep. I have a lot of items to make. Here's my little list that I've written. I think I wrote it in the last video, but I've only ticked off a few things so far. I've got two ghost cups to make, two coffee motel keychains to make, three lilac motel keychains to make, five haunted orange motel keychains to make, one girl sage motel keychains to make, five ghost macrames, which I've nearly finished, three black lanyards, two olive lanyards, three caramel lanyards, one paprika lanyard, one neutral infinity keychain, one rage infinity keychain, two olive bracelets, two rage bracelets, five stellar XL scrunchies, five stellar mini scrunchies, three stellar mini scrunchies, three stellar XL scrunchies, three jade mini scrunchies, three jade XL scrunchies. That's a disgustingly long list. Over 50 items to make in only a few hours. That's not gonna happen, is it? <laughs> I need to get a reel done and filmed of the ghosts that I've been working on. But look how cute they are. I love these so much. The amount of work that's gone into these is, it's a lot. So that is first on my list to get these done. I have been cutting a bunch of the macrame. I don't know if you can see there's some there and then there's some over on my other desk. These are ready for the lanyards. I've been getting some stock ready to take and pack ready for the market. I am obsessed with them. <laughs> But look at them, they're so cute. Hopefully people will like them. So what I'm gonna do now is put you guys on a time lapse and get some macrame lanyards made up because I've got a lot to do. left to do i've done three four five six seven i've done eight so far but i've just got an order through which is really really exciting so someone called danielle has ordered and she's oh, oh i was going to rush to get her order done but it's made to order cups because i do have one of the ghost cups with the flowers but it's missing one of the flowers and one of the halloween motel key rings which is completely fine so i was going to rush to get that done but i won't have the time to try and get my vinyl cutter to work before i need to go to work but sorry i'm not rushing it danielle i'll probably get it done tomorrow at some point but thank you so much Danny as
little bit of running around some errands here and there. I haven't really filmed much, but I managed to get all of the macrame lanyards done, which is great. And then I got an order from the lovely Danielle. So thank you so much, Danielle. And so that's been sent. I've just also been to my auntie's to pick up a cake that she has made because it is Bonner Rose's first birthday on Monday, which is absolutely insane. So the 16th of October, 2022 was when we launched and the fact that it's already been a year is mind blowing. So she very kindly agreed to make me a little birthday business cake. <laughs> I have started cutting up some of the Stella fabric. I did find a couple pieces, 2XL strips that I've already cut up and I have already sewn and put the labels in, which is amazing. So I'm gonna get a bunch of these sewn up now. But I've just bought some boxes from B&M. These are the ones that I got to pack my stock in. And then they did have it, three more of these. They're really useful. They're just these little stackable drawers. I'm gonna assume they stack on top of each other. Yeah, perfect. So I got three of those. So it's quite a lot later, it's 5pm now, Alex is starting dinner and I've just been doing little bits here and there. I still have all the cups and stuff to make, I'm going to set my laptop up cutting vinyl. Unfortunately my key rings aren't going to arrive, my Halloween ones. I've got enough of my black ones because I made them the other day, but I ordered a bunch more other colours. So a range of colours I ordered for the mystery packs, but then I also ordered a restock of like my orange ones because I'm sold out of this design. But unfortunately there seems to be an issue with Royal Mail at the minute, which isn't great considering they keep putting their prices up, but I can at least get a couple more cups done. I stopped filming because it's getting quite dark, but I've done one purple one and I have started a little pink one. I've got two of the ghost cups done, which is great. I'm probably gonna leave that on perfect timing because my parcel of hopefully disco balls has arrived. Cute. But the plan is to put it like that. I have no idea if you can see. So I might make a couple of them up tonight and see how they go down at the market. But cute, that's all I'm gonna be doing. So I'll probably catch you guys in the morning.
guys so obviously we're back home it's quite a few hours later now it's half four and i had a really really good day it was so good to be back at the farmer's market it was amazing to see a bunch of our lovely customers as well and a lot of people were like oh we've missed you where have you been which was so nice these boxes were a great idea definitely worth it it just kept behind our table quite organized those were a great idea but very quickly let's talk about the market I think this was the best we've ever done there. Our best sellers were scrunchies. They usually are our best sellers, but every once in a while, something else will be a greater seller. So we sold 26 scrunchies, I believe. We sold a few fabric wristlets, which is great. I'm pretty sure I sold a couple of cups. See, I try my best to keep up with my stock list, but it is so hard to be taking people's payments, trying to find everything on the stock list and mark it down. I sold one of the ghosts. I sold it to Sarah who I used to work with. It was so nice to see her. It was just really nice to be there and see regular customers, regular stall holders. I just really enjoy going there because it's literally up the road. <laughs> I had a really, really, really good day. So thank you guys so much if you came out to the farmer's market. I am so, so, so grateful. And to those of you who bought something, it's a very difficult time right now. So I am absolutely honored that people choose to spend their hard earned pennies on my items. It means the absolute world. All I'm gonna be doing now going through and doing a proper stock count i have to then edit all of my stock and then i'm going to add up the new items so the ghosts and then the disco ball hanger things that's all i'm going to be doing and then we can prep for my first birthday tomorrow which is mad cannot wait <laughs> That took me a very, very, very long time. It's just gone half six. So I'm gonna go have some dinner, I'm gonna go chill, and then I'll catch you guys tomorrow on my shop birthday. Happy birthday, Fawn Rose. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. <laughs> like a little birthday cake. Let me open this. Anyway, good morning, guys. It's now Monday the 16th of October, which means it is Fauna Rose's first birthday it's our business birthday my mind is blown and i am about to take some little photos with this cake which is why i've got makeup on again i very rarely wear makeup so if i was prepared i would have taken these photos before but i ended up too busy but how cute is my little cake that my auntie made so it says happy birthday and it's green and white which is far of his color but i cannot believe it's been a year i cannot believe we've survived as a style business in the economy that we're in. I can't believe I managed to start a business during the most stressful part of our lives. So I just wanna quickly reflect on that. It's a horrible time at the minute to be in business. It's a horrible time financially. And we've managed to survive. We've managed to have a decently successful year. And I am very, very proud of myself for that. I'm also extremely grateful for every single person in my life that has helped me, whether I know you personally or whether I don't whether you're a stranger on the internet I am so entirely grateful I couldn't have done this without my family my friends without Alex and I couldn't have done it with the help from you guys so a huge thank you for an amazing year I started planning Fauna Rose quite a while ago it was probably a few years ago now I had the logo a very long time ago I officially launched it October the 16th 2022 and if you are new here and you haven't watched the older videos long story short Alex and I were in the process of buying our first home. With him being military, a lot of moving about is bound to happen. And we were moving from Norfolk to Lincolnshire, which is where we now live. And we were attempting to buy our first home. If you haven't bought your first home, I don't know what it's like everywhere, but I'm pretty sure the gist of it is it's very stressful in the UK. It's very, very stressful. It's hard. We were trying to buy our first home and to try and save some money because the plan was to originally build on this house and extend and everything. Hello, Quad. You joining us. So to save some money, we moved to the military base where Alex was currently posted. And we were gonna live there until the sale went through, until we'd done all the work on the house and stuff, and then move in. However, we very quickly realized that we couldn't afford to pay for two different houses, as well as pay for all the building work, because building work, the cost of that skyrocketed. So we ended up moving twice in two months. One of those moves included buying this house. And in the same week, we were packing to move. We rescued Cleo, she's a Sphinx cat, and Sphinx cat Cats aren't an easy breeze and integrating cats is not an easy thing and in that week as well I launched Fauna Rose <laughs> so it was very stressful but we did it. If you're new here this is Cleo, our little grubby girl. I love you. And then from that we've managed to keep this business going. I am so 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 grateful. We've also then started another side business of running our own markets. It's been absolutely insane. I can't thank you all enough 
for your continued support, whether you watch the vlogs, whether you just interact on social media, whether you buy from me, whether you come to in-person events, anything, it means so much. I'm gonna take some photos, really cheesy photos with my cake, get them edited and post them on social media. And then I'm gonna pass up some orders because I got some orders last night, which I am very grateful for. I just wanna quickly thank Jamie, Julianne, Erin and Danielle. Thank you guys so, so much for your orders. I am gonna pass all them up shortly. It's quite a little bit later now, that took a long time, but I've done the photos, I've edited them, I'll put them on screen, here's all the really cheesy photos, and I have also had a tiny piece of the cake, and it was so good. I've done a little discount code, ignore the absolute chaos that's going on around me, are we surprised, my office is a mess again, I do need to quickly tidy it. orders here so Danielle was my last sorry that's just my security going off <laughs> Danielle was my last order and she's my first order from yesterday so thank you so much Danielle <laughs> so I'm gonna give her a freebie mystery pack I've given most people a freebie mystery pack for the birthday situation and she's got the Nova set which is super super cute I love this set so much and then she's got two of the ghost hunting key rings which is amazing and then Erin has also gone for a little matching set we've got the lilac macrame wristlet and the sorry I'm late I didn't want to come key chain so erin also has got a mystery pack for the birthday celebration and then julianne landed on our freebie heart so julianne is going to get one of the green leafy floral bookmarks to match the rest of her order and then i'm also going to give one of these little wristlets in because these were just in my little collection from when i first made them so she's going to get one of those as well for the birthday celebration and she's got the macrame infinity keyring in or that's not orange that's olive <laughs> and then the black macrame lanyard this is going all the way to the states so julianne thank you so much and then finally we have jamie jamie has ordered one of the ghost motel keychains and then the charlotte scrunchie which is the bat and web one and jamie is going to get one of the free mystery scrunchies as well I'll talk about this in a second so thank you guys so so much you absolute legends i'll pass all these up in a second but my box has just arrived this is my motel keychains and there is a massive stick on the top i'm not going to show you because it's got my address on the top as well but it says fragile please handle with care and it's huge and then there's fragile tape all the way around it yeah the box is absolutely battered <laughs> i don't know if you can see luckily the motel keychains aren't that fragile but what the hell <laughs> rainbow drops love these they're vegan as well freebie i'm gonna show you guys because why not there's so much in it so first of all we've got a restart of my orange ones because i did mention that these didn't arrive so i couldn't do my other halloween designs i now have 10 of these that i'm gonna have to hopefully shift before halloween i got a bunch of new colors because these are going to be going inside my christmas mystery boxes so we've got yellow sky blue red green like a forest green and a tealy greeny blue oh exciting so that's exciting just realized i'm gonna have to reprint the customs label because i've left the text in blue so it's made it really pale on the thing print again that's better thank you guys so so much honestly i love parsley not waters it makes me stupidly happy so once again jamie erin danielle and julianne thank you guys so much i really really hope you like your orders but i am gonna leave this vlog here so as always thank you guys so so much for watching and for joining me i still cannot believe we have done one whole year in business with fauna rose honestly 
Can't believe it. I really hope the next year is just as good, just as amazing, and we continue to grow and this community just gets bigger and bigger. I love creating content and I'm hoping that I'm still gonna be creating content in a year's time. So if you haven't, please, please, please press the big red subscribe button. It's free, it really helps my channel out. But please give it a massive thumbs up, leave me a comment down below and subscribe if you aren't. All of the Fauna Rose social media is linked down below as well as the website, so feel free to head on over and check it out. Apart from that, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!